Well, I, uh, uh, at one time, I, I was quite it's friendly with a, one of the glider pilots who was over here, and we were in Arnhem Market. Yeah. And he said, I want to take some cigars home to a friend, you know. And we were at this store there with all these cigars. And uh, he didn't know what to buy. And the uh, chap behind him said, oh, they're very good. Have a box of those. So he, he says, yeah, all right, I'll take those home to a friend. And the chap behind him said, no, I'll pay for them. <laughs> so, yeah. But I, I, I never smoked cigarettes, but I used to smoke cigars. Yeah. And uh, when we had our big dinners, the SAS, uh, the Art Strivers dinners, I always had one of those big Havana cigars. Yeah. <laughs> That used to cost me because a friend of mine, we got promoted the same day to Sergeants and uh, I wasn't there and he bought me a drink early on and I said, uh, I'll buy you a drink. He said, well, buy me a cigar. So every time we went to dinner, it cost me about 15, 15 shillings, old shillings with all the money <laughs> for a cigar. <laughs> Sorry, I'm no, no, this was a... Very colourful American type one. Oh, okay. Well, um, probably not in here. No. First out of airborne because it was for the Americans and us. What was it, Tan? First out of airborne. It was a. Oh, right. a um, uh, you want not issue the badge, you could buy it. Right. Um, and uh, wear it. I'm going to go a quarter. I've got those. I've still got about these badges. Yeah. Get, well, you used to get one. Uh, it was Quilter and Irving, two different manufacturers. And uh, at one time, whenever you jumped, <laughs> you got one with a parachute. Oh. You used to give them to the girls and the wives. And, that. <laughs> and I've still got both of them at home. I was watching uh, an American program on the Airborne the other a while ago. We had these toggle ropes, mm -hmm. short ones with a the wooden uh, with a loop and a, a wooden toggle at the end, and join them together. But they they had quite a coil. They used to the Air, American Air carry quite a coil of rope with them. Mm. I would have thought the British one was, would have been more useful because, like you say, you can loop it together. You loop them together. With your mates. I mean, when we did, uh, before I did the jumps and we were taking all our tests and doing our training, you know, um, so they were sorting us out, we had to go over a, a, quite a high wall. And you forget uh, we... your coffee. <laughs> He's talking too much. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, we used to use the toggle to get over. Got somebody up on the top, and then the to put the toggles together, and of course yep. you could go up. Made it a lot easier. <laughs> ah, the old figures. I was operating one of those when I was 15 years old. Really? I was a cor corporal in charge of two of them. In the home guard, 15 <laughs> I was. I think they maybe gave me the stripe because. I was the only one who could pick up the gun. <laughs> the other old boys couldn't lift it. <laughs> I think it's, I say, um, I get a bit of a pension for this hearing. And I think it's because I started then. I mean, it's fine. We used to have loads of practice. I mean, um, people think, you know, old pikes and things were the home guard, but we, we had these machine guns and. Uh, we used to go on the ranges quite a lot. Yeah. And I was starting then, I mean, the bangs, and right through all that service until 1958 with explosives and that. Uh, Where else did you do your training? Were, were you always based sort of Cornwall direction or? No, never based down here. We only used to come down and practice and, and that. Uh, but to know, it's low. The, 2-1 SAS at the time was London, All right. and uh, that was at Euston when I, I did it, and then it went to Chelsea, and uh, 
I was caught with the, with the signals because I transferred the signals. They wanted I was cipher trained, and they wanted something to take over a cipher office. And um, then they uh, formed the uh, two three. Mm -hmm. um, they went down to Portsmouth and up to the Midlands. I think the Colonel now is out. He's based in the Midlands somewhere. I don't right. Know. What about your, your airborne training? Airborne training, I went to uh, uh, Chesterfield to start with, yeah. Clay, and uh, did the physical training and uh, all your tests, and then to Ringway for your jumps, yeah. which is Ring, uh, Manchester Airport. Right, yeah, yeah. Kilkenny Circus. <laughs> First book I, I got was called Prelude to Glory, which was the history of the Ringway Airport. Oh, right. Uh, Ringway training. And uh, I loaned it to a friend in the SAS and they got it pinched. And oh. he tried his hardest going through books, shops, and uh, you know, old books and that, and he never found it. And uh, old Arthur Winstanley's uh, son in law, no, not Arthur Winstanley, um, well, Les's Les, son-in-law, yeah. Philip. Yeah. Phil. 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 He, 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 I don't know if he got it through uh, on a computer, through eBay or something, but he got me a copy. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, it's, it's ancient, it's brown, and it's, uh, you know, it was a long time ago, so yeah. it's yeah, yeah. But he got me a copy or something. <laughs>